To see my exclusive content, become a member of this channel, join my Patreon, or visit ChrissyOnline.com. And be sure to join the mailing list for updates on future videos. The links are in the description box. Please like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Okay. Am I live? Okay, I don't see anything. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? Hello? Let me know if you guys can hear me because I don't, I can't tell if I'm live or not for some reason. Okay, I think I'm live. Push a one in the chat if you can hear me. Okay, good. I think I'm live. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, good. Okay, so welcome everybody. Thank you for joining me. It's been quite a while since I've gone live. So I decided to come on because I wanted to address a few things. I see a lot of different things going on in, in the YouTube streets. And so um, I just want to come on and say some things uh and fyi i will be posting a video for members and patrons soon it was supposed to be out by now but i had some work obligations that put me behind on literally everything y'all know mercury is in lemonade <laughs> mercury is in lemonade right now so i'm struggling but i do apologize and i got y'all ASAP and also thank you to everyone who sent me their pictures and videos of the eclipse my state had a really good view of the total solar eclipse we were in the path of totality and I shared my footage on Instagram but you know my footage was kind of ghetto it wasn't the best footage <laughs> one because it was on an iPhone and two um I didn't zoom in because I was so in the moment, you know, but I did get to see it. It was so cool and it was so much better in person. I was at the top of um, a high rise building, so it didn't appear that dark when it happened. It didn't really feel, I didn't feel the temperature drop either. So, um, but it was a fun experience. Y'all know I'm a very spiritual person and I'm also an astrology enthusiast. So, you know, I'm fascinated with the planets in general. So that kind of stuff is very interesting to me. So I appreciate everybody for sending me their pictures and video. I loved it. And, you know, some people obviously felt the eclipse more strongly than others, depending on their sign and their aspects and their birth chart. Um, but in general, the solar eclipse in Aries signifies a time of new beginnings, a time of personal transformation, and the area of life that new beginning or transformation will be different for everyone. So whatever that is for you, I encourage you to get rid of the old and whatever is no longer serving you. Whatever that is, it could be a person, it could be anything. Uh, let go of the past and whatever you need to let go of and move forward. Move forward. And that is, that brings me to what I want to discuss in today's live stream, okay? I want to talk about where my mind and heart is at when it comes to YouTube and my channel. I want to answer some questions you guys have been asking clear up some rumors I've been seeing and talk about how I've been moving forward on YouTube and getting rid of what no longer serves me because um, that's definitely happening in my life right now. <laughs> yeah, I know, you know, the Aries, some of the Aries um, have been greatly affected, the fire signs especially. Um, I know I'm, I'm seeing somebody who's an Aries and so 
I, I just, I've noticed like the impact. Let me just say that. I won't get into detail because I want to leave this video up. But I've noticed the impact that the eclipse has had on Aries and other fire signs. So very, very interesting. But the eclipse does affect every sign. Just some more strongly than others. But anyway, um, over the last few weeks, okay, I have made a few posts on my community tab. I also did a video for members and patrons about why I have been doing less colorism videos, less race topics in general. And I won't get into everything I said in that video. I'm not going to repeat myself. But as I've already stated publicly, I am just bored of the repetitive conversations on this side of YouTube. Honestly, I'm just going to keep it real with you guys. It's almost funny to me at this point. That's how detached I am. I'm becoming from it. Um, and the conversations have just become so unserious to me, y'all. I just, I can't, I can't take black people seriously anymore. Okay. I just can't both black men and black women. Um, and I just feel like most black people are most interested in complaining about problems rather than actually doing anything that they can to fix those problems. Okay. And, um, I told y'all a while back in a different live stream that I am just over the discussions on Black YouTube, the the the, the discussion, the repetitive discussions that are happening on Black YouTube. Black people, both men and women, they just don't like having honest conversations about pretty much anything pertaining to Black people and their condition in in this country, specifically the United States of America. And quite frankly, I'm tired of debating with them and I'm tired of trying to reason with them and then getting attacked and dragged for my opinions about them that are honestly the truth. That's just what it is. And I also noticed that on my channel or that my channel in particular was being targeted by multiple sectors because again, black people hate the truth, okay? especially when it comes to colorism, they hate the truth. They do. And there was this uptick of harassment uh, that was going on for the last year or so. So I have been protecting my peace by doing other topics and focusing on other things, um, as well as making mostly exclusive content. And I'm only live streaming now, to be honest with you, because I want to set the record straight on some things publicly once and for all and then i'll probably just go back to doing what i've been doing because you know i see some false information floating around on other platforms um so i just wanted to address that but to be honest with you i'm just so over it that i won't be doing this often because i am caring less and less about this shit as time goes on <laughs> i'm just gonna keep it real with you um and anyone who knows about people who have a strong Gemini placements in their chart. I'm a Cancer, so I can hold on to stuff for a pretty long time. But once I let go, it's like it don't exist no more, y'all. I mean, you know, I have been told that is my toxic trait because I will do that to people, to ideas, to things. Once I'm over it, once I'm detached, I, it's like it's dead to me. <laughs> and it's I can do that to friends, family, whoever, okay? And, you know, sometimes you need to give people closure, give things closure before you move on. But once I'm mentally and emotionally detached, it's, it's like I'm done. That's just how my mind operates. And I understand that, that, you know, if you don't tell people certain things, it's like they're stuck and they're like, oh, well, you didn't say anything. And I'm like, OK, but I did. And they're like, OK, but you didn't give the reason. You didn't talk about. OK, OK, so I'm doing that now. This is what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bulo says, Chrissy, we have all moved on. Girl, we have. We, me and you, and a lot of us, but some of us have not. Because I'm getting these messages. I'm getting these requests. People crying on other people's platforms. And I'm just like, okay, we, we're going to have to talk about this. <laughs> we're going to have to. We're going to have to talk about this. Um. Okay, so the first rumor I want to put to bed is this rumor about me not doing colorism content anymore because it's no longer lucrative. 
And I'm not sure where that came from because, child, I'm making less money around here, okay? <laughs> I'm making less money, okay? I am making less money now that I'm not focusing as much on colorism and doing more underground content. I know y'all think, like, for some reason, y'all think there's more money when you, like, you know, have Patreon and memberships. I think for some people it is, but for me it's not. Okay, because most people are used to me doing free content, right? Most people are used to me being very accessible. So when I start charging for content, my fuckers got mad, okay? <laughs> so I am making less money now that I'm not doing free content anymore, okay? I have always made more money with public content and gotten more views with public content. But you know what? I am okay with getting lower views. I'm okay with getting, you know, earning less money because the views and the money were never my primary motivator. So we can just put that that rumor to bed right now. I have always been most vocal about whatever I'm passionate about. And to be frank with you, I'm no longer passionate about colorism and race. As it, it, at least as not as much as I was before, okay? It's really just that simple, okay? YouTube is not my primary source of income, so I can talk about what I want. I don't have to be over-concerned with money and views and all that stuff. I, I'll be okay if I'm not getting paid as much, okay? So are we all in, do we all understand that? <laughs> yeah, I'm evolving. What's up, Brown Hillary Banks? Hey, boo. Yeah, so are we all clear on that? I didn't switch up my content for money or because it's not paying as good. I don't, you know, I don't make as much money as I did before. So if I was here for just money, then I would be doing colorism content still. I would be, <laughs> I would be doing that still. Do you, you do understand that, right? I don't watch Real Housewives of Potomac. I don't watch that. Is that the real colorist one? See, why y'all still watching colorist shows? You see how unserious y'all are? Y'all still watching colorist shows. When I when I said that when I said that I don't watch colorist, I wasn't playing. See, this way y'all y'all play too much. This is the problem. <laughs> this is the problem. Chrissy, Chrissy, what do you think about Housewives of Potomac? They're colorists. I don't know. I don't watch them. I don't watch them. So I don't know. And to be fair, I kind of I'm over like reality TV, so I don't watch hardly any of it. But even if I was, I wouldn't watch it. So yeah, you know me, you know not being as interested, and and to the person who said. So does colorism not exist anymore? Of course it exists. I just don't care to talk about it as much because y'all are not serious, most of you. And that is for who it applies to. If that doesn't apply to you, then let it fly. And let me say, because I, I don't want to be dishonest. Of course, getting a lot of views and earning a lot of money on YouTube is nice, okay? Anybody on YouTube... We're here for views. We want views. You know, anybody here that's enrolled in AdSense or who's taking donations, they want money. Otherwise, they wouldn't put their stuff out there. They want money, okay? They want to get paid for their content. So I'm not going to lie about that. But for me, me coming on here talking about colorism was never, money was never the primary reason I came on YouTube. I started on Facebook in 2011 promoting dark-skinned women for free, free 99. And then I came over here about 2015, 2016 to have a more nuanced conversation about colorism that I could not have on Facebook because it was Facebook. I couldn't get into it like that. So I was like, you know, let me move over to YouTube. So, you know, if this was only about money, I would still be doing the same content because what I'm doing now is not quote-unquote lucrative like I heard somebody else say about me in their video. I'm just in a different state of mind, so I'm doing different things. And see, you know what it is? 
I think y'all are used to black women threatening to stop doing something and still doing it anyway, but I'm not one of those people. Like I said earlier, I'm a cancer, so I can hold on to something for a pretty long time, but when it when I'm done, I'm done with it. I'm done with it, okay? Once I move on mentally and emotionally, there's little to no talking after that. I'm on to the next thing, the next person, or the next idea. That is just how I move. Gemini rising, Gemini Venus, that is just what it is. I'm not one of those people that's going to keep on threatening to leave. And you know, oh, I'm going, I, I said I'm going, I'm closing the door, I'm out the door. I'm leaving right now, in five seconds I'm leaving. That's not me. That's not me. <laughs> <laughs> and look, I'm not leaving because I love doing YouTube. I love making content, but I am moving on to other topics with my content. That's all. I'm still here. So y'all over, I see y'all on other channels. Chrissy abandoned us and I'm so lost. Like literally somebody said that in a comment. I'm like, this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> not you're not a passport bro okay so the next thing I want to clear up are these rumors about why I removed some of my colorism content and the short answer is that people have been reusing and remixing my copyrighted work my intellectual property nefariously so I took down the videos that they were using to protect my intellectual property that is it. That's all. YouTube has taken down some of the videos where my content was being used appropriately because I did file a copyright claim on all of those videos. And YouTube refused to remove others for some reason. But I am working with a lawyer to help with the other videos. And he's also helping me gain more control over how my videos are used. And after all that is worked out, you guys, I do plan on putting those videos back up. So I want to make it clear that I'm not changing my talking points. I'm not running and hiding. I, I don't have an issue with people critiquing me or my content, but I will not tolerate when my content is being used out of context to paint a false narrative. That is what I'm not going to tolerate. And see, when you're a good content creator, like myself, you don't have to cut, chop, and screw somebody else's content to make them look worse than what they are. But people on this app are so desperate to win their little one-sided battle they have with Chrissy, so they're doing the most with my content. So while I'm working with my lawyer to protect my content and my intellectual property, as best as I can and make sure I'm going to get compensated when my content is being used on these other channels. The videos will remain private. Once everything is done, I plan to put the videos back up. So to the people who were accusing me of backtracking or changing my talking points about colorism, literally none of that has changed. I've mentioned colorism in passing in unrelated videos and my opinions are exactly the same. Literally, you can click on one of my recent videos where I talk about colorism briefly and my opinions are exactly the same. I am just not hyper-focused on colorism like I was in the past. And to the people calling me a coward or accusing me of being scared of these little, you know, colorism channels popping up, these little colorist channels, because that's what they are, please stop. I went against the so-called golden sphere years ago when nobody else had the courage to do it. So this ain't got shit to do with being scared, okay? And I know some of you short bus Blackistan babies, you, you ghetto babies, you lead babies are saying that because you want to show. Talking about how scared I am, you just want to show because you're ghetto. And I'm not going to give your ghetto ass a show. And see, y'all have created this ghetto virtual Blackistan online and you enjoy 
seeing content creators go back and forth. That is your source of entertainment. And you want to use me beefing with other people to make content out of it. But no, get somebody else to do it. Find your content somewhere else. I am no longer allowing people to make money off of me in that way. So you're going to have to get somebody else to do it. Because if I were still making colorism content like I was doing before and fighting with these new light skin channels, then y'all would be telling me to shut up and stop hating on light skin women. So it's like, which one do you want? And it's wild to me how some of the same people who harassed me for making colorism content are also mad because I'm not making it anymore or because I took my videos down for legal reasons. So I think some of you know damn well it's not out of fear. You're just mad that I'm not giving your ghetto ass a show. You're mad because I'm not giving you content to complain about on your beef channels. You're gonna have to find a new source for that, Buki. I am moving away from it. And to the people who, who, who say, oh, well, Chrissy, you let the haters win. You're folding under pressure. Listen, beloved, YouTube is free. Make a channel. Make your own colorism channel. Be the change that you want to see. Do what I did for nine years. Experience what I did. Let people chop and screw your content. Then come back and talk to me about folding under pressure and letting the haters win. Do what I did. Make a channel because I am not a machine. I'm not your workhorse. I'm not your mule. I am a human being and humans get tired. I am not Chrissy the colorist slayer. It's somebody else's turn. <laughs> okay. It's somebody else's turn. Belfie, I have several videos about dating. Thank you for your um, super chat. Yeah, just look, look through. The, the channel. I have several videos about dating for younger women. <clears throat> yeah. So this is not Chrissy, the color, the color is slayer. This is not that. It's somebody else's term. So y'all can create a, a, your own channels and do what you want me to do. Go beef with the colorists. Because I'm seeing some of that too. Y'all are sending me, Chrissy, we want to we wanna know what you think about these new colorism channels popping up. And I've seen people blaming me and other colorism commentators for these channels existing. But for some reason, y'all are failing to mention that colorist people of every gender were on the internet before I got here, before anyone else got here. Our channels and our commentary were a response to that colorism. So let's not revise history and leave that part out. We got memes, we got videos to prove that dark skinned women were being harassed on the internet by mostly black men, but also the non black women, the mixed women, and the light skinned women they put on the pedestal. Then when dark skinned women start fighting back, all of a sudden we're bullies. But we ain't forget. We came here in response to the colorism. So let's not be, let's not, let's not revise history here. And I realize that, you know, these anti dark skin woman channels are new for some of you, but they're not new to me. And I've done several videos addressing them over the years and I got dragged all over the internet for it. It's somebody else's turn. Get somebody else to do it. And to be honest, there are other dark skinned women doing it. And I think if that's the content that you want, you should support those women. But I am no longer interested in arguing with all these colorists and taking most of the hits for it. Somebody else gonna have to take the hits now. And furthermore, I have said over and over and over again that there is room for everybody. I take no issue with anyone outside of dark skinned women sharing their experiences on colorism. And you know what? I think it's good that dark skinned women aren't the only people speaking on colorism. I think it's a good thing when colorists in, in particular have a voice because it will show some of you 
dark skinned women who are in denial, you kumbaya dark skinned women, how many of them always felt about you? That's how a lot of y'all learned how the collective of black men truly felt about black women and dark skinned women. Did you not? It was the internet. That's how y'all came to terms with that shit. Now y'all on some decenter men shit. Cause men been all over the internet telling you how they feel about you. So yeah, I actually support the colorist coming out telling you the truth because then maybe you will appreciate a platform, an exclusive place that is for you. And when I say you, I'm talking about the collective. I'm not talking about the women who rock with me. So please, if this is not the, if this does not apply to you, don't get offended. But I am all for the the colorists being honest. They need to show themselves because dark skinned women need to realize who their real allies are. Because the collective of y'all do not support the people who truly have your best interest at heart. So maybe the colorist channels going viral is what it will take. But then again, I don't know. Because, you know, most dark-skinned women are so self-hating. Y'all might join in with them. Only time will tell. We'll see what happens. But I'll be observing in my little corner talking about other shit. It is time for someone else to take the hits. And, you know, I was talking to another content creator about this. Shout out to her. She knows who she is. But she is like, they want you to be a martyr. And it's true. A lot of people want me to fight colorism in my videos until the day I die. And keep just taking most of the hits. And keep, you know, just taking it and popping back up and continuing to, to, be the colorist slayer. That's what y'all want. Y'all want me to keep getting harassed and stalked by both colorist black men and black women and everybody else and just take the abuse because, oh, Chrissy, don't go. Dark skinned women and girls need you. But no, that's not how this works. One person can't do most of the work and then take most of the hits. It has to be a team effort. And that's not what this is. It's not a team effort on the part of the black community as a whole nor is it a team effort on the part of the collective of dark-skinned women. And I am not muling for anyone, and that includes Black women. And just like I told um, Barbie Life, shout out to her, told this to her behind the scenes, I encourage any dark-skinned women doing online colorism advocacy for, for dark-skinned women to not make it their job, to not make it their entire identity, and give themselves an end date. Give yourself a cutoff date. Please do that for yourself and for your mental health. Because it's not something that you should do forever anyway. And that's something I want to remind people who, who are sad that I'm not speaking on colorism as much or who are on these other channels talking about how I abandoned y'all. Look, there are so many other dark-skinned women that speak on colorism. So go support those women. Again, Barbie Life is a great channel. Absolutely beautiful. And she gets it. And I've always said that I don't I don't gatekeep talking points because it needs to be more than one black woman woman spreading the message. And when one woman falls and she's done, she can pass the baton and there's someone else to keep doing the work. That is how it's supposed to be. I don't think black women should be involved in any type of activism, if, if that's what you want to call this. I don't think they should be involved with it forever because it's too mentally and emotionally taxing. And, you know, I told y'all, I've always had a life outside of YouTube, but when it starts like really, you know, fucking with me and bothering me, then I have to stop. And we always talk about black women having boundaries, doing what's best for them, putting their self, themselves first. That's what I'm doing. And I told y'all a few years ago, I would not be doing this for over 10 years because I knew I couldn't do it for longer than that. I, I know myself. And it'll be nine years since I started making colorism videos on YouTube. Either this month or ne next month, it'll be nine years. How long did y'all expect me to do this? 20 years? 30 years? I mean, <laughs> did y'all really expect me to do it for that long? When I said I wouldn't do this over 10 years, I was not playing. I wasn't playing when I said that.
And really, it's a dead end conversation. And anybody who jumps in it will realize that. You'll come to that same conclusion eventually. I promise you, you will. That's the same conclusion I came to when I was, you know, pro-black, thinking that black men would change. The vast majority of them will not. And I came to peace with that. Now, I'm also coming to peace with the fact that the vast majority of black women, especially dark-skinned women, will not change. I have no resentment. I'm not sad about it. It was sad at me, at, sad, sad to me at first, but now I'm I'm coming to peace with it. I'm in, I'm becoming indifferent. And let me tell you, as a black woman, being indifferent is a great place to be. It is a great place to be. I feel like that is real freedom for black women. I really do. And I don't even think. All black women will even get there, but that is where I'm headed. And it feels amazing. I feel great. So, you know, and, and this is another reminder. I am still not competing for the BWE crown. Because I know there's been a little dust up with that lately. I am not, look, I am not about to be on here arguing another eight, nine years with the so-called pioneers of BWE about who said some shit first. Like, the, girl, when I tell you I'm so over that as well, been there, done it, and it's old and tired. I don't want the credit, never did, so y'all can have that. I refuse to be like y'all and having the same conversations for 15 and 20 years. We, I'm not doing that over here. There's more than one channel that's giving out good information to black women and women in general. And y'all are going to have to accept that you will not be the only ones. There is room for everybody. And that is what you want. You want to be the only ones on the mic. And that's just not going to happen. I'm sorry. And going back and forth about that shit, that was cute a few years ago, but now it's just embarrassing. Like, it, and it's just wild to me that there are older women that out there really still doing this. And this goes back to what I said in my last video about how competitive women are with each other. Men aren't anywhere in the room. And look, look at what's happening with BWE. And like I said, you know, I, I believe in a healthy level of competition between women. That's normal. Humans are going to compete. Women are not exempt from competing. It's just what it is. But it's next level in BWE. And it's just so odd to me, especially coming from women who say over and over and over again, we don't care about YouTube. We're better than YouTube. We don't need YouTube. And I just feel like if you're so much smarter and you're so much better and you're so much more educated and you're so superior, then why are you fixated on black women YouTubers? Is that not weird to y'all? Like, when I... Let me see what this super chat says. Raji says, respect your choice. I'm glad you're moving on, but no one is like you. The way you see slash break things down, sigh, respect your decision regardless. Look, I'm still going to break things down. I'm just not going to be obsessing over colorism. I'm still going, I still break shit down. I still got some good strategy videos. That's pretty much what I've been focused on lately. Thank you for the super chat. But um, what I was going to say was, when I look at black women, I look up to outside of YouTube. And my mentor is a good example of this, right? When I look up at highly educated black business women, you know, that's my mentor, highly educated black business woman married to a businessman, right? And my mentor, I've told y'all before, she especially hates this sector of YouTube. She thinks it's stupid. She thinks it's unproductive. She told me to quit a long time ago. She's the reason why I started my own website for real. Like, <laughs> cause she told me a long time ago if I was still gonna do YouTube to, to make a website outside of YouTube for my content. But you know, th that would be like her coming online to consistently complain 
and and talk about how she's so much smarter and more educated than YouTubers. And that's why she doesn't need YouTube or care about YouTube. She doesn't do that because she actually doesn't care about this shit. She's not on here trying to compete with younger black women who are making money online and not even that much money online. She's not fixated on what they're doing and saying. That is the behavior of somebody who really doesn't care about this shit and is actually happy and has a career and a, a good life outside in the real world. A woman of her caliber would never be on here arguing with YouTubers that she felt were beneath her. So it's clear that these women care and they care a lot. Nobody believes you when you say you don't care and you feel like you're so much better than somebody when all you do is talk about them every time you get online. It's not adding up. Yeah, Skittles and Jelly Bean said it's funny how they discredit Chrissy when she was the only. No, and that's the thing. A lot of us have solutions. I, but she's, I don't have to get on here and be like, nobody else's platform is better than mine because I know my platform is good. I don't have to throw another bitch under the bus. And that's what makes these women look so pressed. It's like they want to be the only one. But again, I don't want the BWE title. I don't want the credit. I'm not trying to claim that I created any of the BWE talking points or the colorism talking points. Y'all can have the credit for all of that. I don't want it. Did you hear me ever come on here and say, I invented this colorism talking point. I always gave the credit to Alice Walker. I even gave credit to the bitch that don't like me and says I copy from her. I, I said that she was first a long time ago. I don't need to be first to be a good content creator. Now, if you come at me talking about, you know, accusing me of copying, then yeah, I'll pull up the receipts and be like, no, I said that a long time ago. But to lay claim to, to you know, being first and being the, you know, the, the creator, the pioneer. No, I don't. Come on now. I got better things outside of this that I get credit for. It's not that serious to me, especially at this moment in time in my life. But I told y'all a long time ago that for a lot of women on this platform, this is their claim to fame and it's all that they have. And I don't know, maybe it's their source of entertainment because they're bored with their lives. I don't know. But it's just like, y'all need to pipe down with that shit. And this is why I said, apologizing to them for being wrong will never be enough. Bringing them on your platform will never be enough. Shouting them out in your videos will never be enough. I've done all of that. None of it helped. And actually everything, it made everything worse. Because then they wanted you to, to mention them in every single video. Every time you say something, you got to mention that they were first. When that's completely unrealistic. So all of this stuff that they never apologize, they never, and okay, what happens when, when somebody did apologize and bring you on their channel? It, it still didn't mean anything. So the truth is that they want to be the only women on the mic. They want all of us other women to go away that came after them. And that is the only thing that will truly make them, them happy. They're not saying that, but that is what they want. And look, I'm not going away because I love making content. But I tell you what, you can have this BWE shit because I don't want it. I don't need it. I can do other content and be successful, as you can see. IB says, we love you, Chrissy. I'm also done with colorism and any topic black people talk about online. It's goofy at this point. It's goofy because it's not serious. <laughs> Because nobody's serious. <clears throat> and oh my God, I actually came on here serious. Like for real, I thought that, you know. I thought that, <laughs> girl, oh my God. Now that I think about it, it's like, why did I think that? Why did I think that y'all really wanted to, to change? <laughs> it's wild.
But yeah, y'all can have that shit. I've been making other content and I'm having fun doing it. Less money, less views and all. I'm having fun staying in my own little corner in my own little chair. And my content will always be helpful to black women because I'm a black woman. But yes, I am transitioning out of that race woman phase. And naturally, that means transitioning out of BWE and starting um, and doing other things. And any smart black woman can see that the BWE sector ain't going nowhere because there's too much ego involved. Too much ego. And what I'm not about to do is keep fighting over, talk over talking points that none of us created is dumb. It's so tired at this point. So, you know, I don't plan on making any more videos like this or about this. I just wanted to let y'all know where I was with it. So there will be no confusion. Now you know why I'm moving different. And it ain't because of fear. It ain't because I'm backtracking. I mean, everything I've said in the past, nothing has changed. I know that dumb nigga from the Manosphere was saying the same thing. Oh, Chrissy's, <clears throat> she's pivoting. Are we going to get an apology for black men? Absolutely fucking not. Apologize to you niggas for what? I mean, everything I said still about y'all. Just because I got tired of talking about y'all doesn't mean I don't mean what I said about you. But again, these are slow bust Blackistan babies. They just don't understand just you moving on. They think because you're moving on and not talking about some stuff anymore, they think you're you're backtracking for some reason. No, that's not what this is. Raquel says, I love your content and will support you in whatever you do. Thank you. Thanks. Skittles and jelly. Yeah, there's also this one dude. He was like, yeah, and she's trying to pivot and and be what I don't I don't remember everything she he said, but I'm like, what? And so I had to make it clear to him a long time ago. And I'm making it clear to that nigga again. Like, no, honey, I still believe everything I said about black men. Everything I said about colorism still stands. None of that has changed. We just moving on. We evolving from this conversation because y'all niggas are, are stupid. And I can't keep doing this. I can't. You think I'm going to do this for another nine years? Are you crazy? But yeah, any of the women who think I'm in competition with them, I'm not. I dropped the, the BWE label a long time ago. I'm not in competition with you. I'm not trying to compete with you for that title. You can have it. I'm not mad at anybody. This is not beef. I'm simply moving on to other content. Good luck with anybody who's still in BWE. Good luck. You deserve all your credit that I gave you a long fucking time ago. I ain't gonna keep doing it in every damn video. No. <laughs> I mean, come on. This is just getting ridiculous. Like, I can't, I can't even believe we're still doing this. <clears throat> Ash says, yeah, all the colorism talk is, oh, we have other things we need to worry about. Look, I wouldn't mind still talking about colorism because it's still a thing. It's still a thing. And, you know, I think colorism is important outside of dating, outside of men. I think it's important to put our image first and still have exclusive spaces. But I've accepted that dark skinned women are not ready for that. You're not ready for that conversation. And I don't know what it's going to take for y'all to realize that. But the current state that we're in right now, y'all are not ready for that. And a lot of y'all don't want to have the conversation anymore because you, you've, you've accepted that black men don't care. So now you want to move on and you want to decenter men. But you don't realize that it, it, you still do need to be invested in correcting your image. And I will do that individually as much as I can but as far as trying to like have a, a platform for it and a movement surrounding it no 
It's too much bullshit that comes with that because y'all are not ready for it. It's not enough unity. It's not enough, you know, sisterhood, solidarity. It's, it's so solidarity. It's not enough of that right now. And I think that it's going to take something really bad to happen for y'all to, to get that. So, and you know, maybe when that happens, you know, I'll come back around and be like, okay. <laughs> but um, probably not. <laughs> like I said, once I move on from something, it's pretty much over. So maybe when y'all are ready for it, another dark skinned woman will, you know, try to kind of recreate what I did and it'll work that time because y'all are ready for it. But um, as of right now, <laughs> not gonna happen. It's very exhausting, very much so. But I, I mean, I want to know what content y'all want to see that is not celebrity related, not colorism related, and not male related if, if you are trying to decenter men. Because I'm open to doing all that content. You know? And I have some, some really good ideas coming up, especially for members and patrons. April showers, you keep asking for some astrology videos, girl. You really want some astrology videos, huh? <laughs> Shout out to April. I see you, girl. I see you. Sometimes y'all don't like, I, I don't know if the majority of my platform really likes me talking about astrology. Y'all don't like the woo-woo stuff. <laughs> and y'all know, baby, I can get woo-woo. I was a little woo-woo at the beginning of this um, live stream talking about the eclipse. And y'all know last year... Uh, no, not last year. I said last year. The last eclipse that really affected me significantly was the one in 2017. And remember I did that live stream when I got up out of the hospital, child? I ain't gonna go into that because next thing I know, somebody will remix it and make up some reason, some false reason why I was in the damn hospital. But do y'all remember that? Yeah, that shit was crazy. I almost killed myself, child. That was a mess. Literally almost killed myself. That was crazy. And no, I'm not talking about unaliving myself. Oh my God. Why did I say that? That's going to be in the video. <laughs> Chrissy tried to unalive herself in 2017. <laughs> that's, that's the type of shit that's going on, y'all. Watch somebody take that clip and make a video. Watch. Because motherfuckers are crazy. Sweet P says, I remember back in 2020, you warned us about the black men, black men praising us for G Floyd support would go right back to being black woman bashers. So sad. So done. Some black women never learn, unfortunately. Yeah. And it got worse after that, y'all. It got worse. Now the red pill girlies popping up. Yeah. Some of y'all remember. Some of y'all remember that live stream. Oh, God, that was the worst time of my life. It was terrible. <laughs> Valencia says, no, nah, this is the most unserious community. It really is. It is. Yeah, but like I said, I have a members patrons video coming up. Everything is behind. I try to get that out to y'all sooner, but you know, I apologize. You will get one soon. So if you're interested in my exclusive content, definitely join to become a member or a patron under the Neptunians tier. The link is in the description box. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go back to doing what I was doing before. I'm not going to be live on here like that. When I get a few more members and patrons, I am going to start going live for members and patrons. Almost exclusively. I might pop up every now and then publicly publicly to go live for y'all. But for the most part, I won't be doing that. Um, I will still be doing public content. As you see, I'm still doing public content. But um, most of my effort will go into producing exclusive content. 
and then I will do public content when I can. But yeah, you will still get public content. I'm not leaving, um, but I am focused on doing more exclusive content because that is just where I'm comfortable right now. That may change in the future. Y'all know I'm a very changeable person. Maybe I will feel different in the future about everything I said in this live stream, but I highly doubt it. I would do travel vlogs, but it's too many crazy people out there, unfortunately. And I'm just not that good at lifestyle content. I kind of tried that. I'm just not that good at it, so... Are you mutant like a Pisces? What does that mean? You mean mutable? I think cancer is a mutable sign. So I think the answer to your question is yes. Yeah. Oh, and somebody else asked why I don't post on Instagram. I don't like Instagram. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it real with you like I don't really prefer Instagram so I don't post on there and I delete it on my posts but I do promote like my videos and stuff on there because I know a lot of people are on there and a lot of you say that that is how you get your notifications and I also see like some of the traffic coming from over there so I you know I didn't deactivate. I thought I was going to re-deactivate my page, but then I was like, you know, I'll leave it up and just use it to promote. But in general, I don't like Instagram. I don't like TikTok. That's why I'm not over there anymore. I just, I, YouTube is my platform of choice. You know, I, I just, I know I should be expanding and I'm going to do a little something more with the newsletter on Substack. That's also, the link to that is also in the description box if you want to join the newsletter. So I'm going to be on Substack. But um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't care for Instagram or TikTok. You know, I might actually, I'm not going to share that. But I'm not going to share what I'm going to do. Well, I'm just not going to say anything because <laughs> there is something else I want to talk about, but I don't know if I'm going to do that live or in a regular video. I don't know yet. I don't want to tell y'all because people like to steal ideas on this app. But I just had an idea. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I just don't know. Mm. Yeah, I'm not going to say it. And I don't have any opinions on that. No, no, no. Thoughts on Cowboy Carter. Um, 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 um I have to listen to it again. There was a couple of it, there was a couple songs I liked on there, but they weren't really country. It was the R&B song. So <laughs> I'm not big on country music. But, I mean, it's Beyonce, so it's good, you know. It's just not my favorite genre. Um, Day says, may you make some content about fashion, clothing, makeup, etc. I love you, Chrissy. I have been watching you since I was 15. Your content has helped me love my skin and so much more. Oh, thank you. Um, fa you uh, Some of y'all have been asking me about fashion, con or fashion content, clothing, makeup, I think that's better for for content creators that aren't anonymous. You know, I mean, I'm, I'll give advice here and there about that kind of stuff. But to make whole videos on it, I don't know. Now, if I wasn't anonymous, then I would do that. But I don't know, because if I'm if I'm going to take fashion advice, I want to go to somebody I can see. And even like with natural hair stuff, like I go to natural hair content people that I can see. So, because that's a real like visual thing, you know what I'm saying?
And somebody else, like a lot of y'all been asking me about like financial content. And even though, you know, I'm, I wouldn't say that I'm bad in that area, but I hire people to help me with that kind of stuff. Like, you know, stocks and trades and financial stuff. And I don't feel comfortable enough to give advice like financial advice either even advice on like buying a house i can give you some advice on what to avoid but my my homeowner experience was not the greatest <laughs> i mean i guess i could talk about what to avoid but like that's just not my i don't want to talk about that kind of stuff for real you know what i'm saying <laughs> really i don't I mean, I would say I'm pretty good at saving money, but when it comes to like uh, investing and stuff, I get help for that. Like I get, you know, mentors and people telling me what to do in that area. So yeah, the stuff I'm, I'm focused on is like strategy stuff. I'm not going to tell you like specifically what I have coming up. But if you're interested in strategy, I will be doing some spiritual light content too. Um, eventually I have some stuff like that planned for those who are into astrology. Um, but yeah, I'm just not going to say anything else about that. <laughs> I just want you guys to know that I'm, I'm not good at everything. You know what I mean? I'm not like, I can't give advice on everything, <laughs> especially when it comes to, to finances. Cause I'm not like super confident in that area and it, it, at least confident enough to give advice you know what I mean Miss Felix Cata says would you be willing to make a video on starting a liquidation business I thought about that but even with that like girl I don't know I'll just say I don't know Imara says I see glamour magic everywhere now that you pointed it out in that video thank you thank you and see that's my strong suit you know I'm good at you know talking about strategy and optics and things like that that is where I'm good at you know what I mean where I can analyze things in terms of marketing you know I have an education in marketing so I'm good at that kind of stuff and just because someone's good at marketing and promotion doesn't always mean they're good at numbers and finances. You know, I think that's there's a misconception there. <laughs> if you want to know, if you want to hear my video on Glamour, um, you can listen to it on Patreon or under YouTube memberships under the Neptunians tier. Yeah, and she said glamour magic, but really that's like, that's what witches do. Witches use glamour and it wasn't a witchy video. <laughs> I'm not a witch. <laughs> uh, at least not an intentional witch. I think I'm a passive witch, but I'm not like, you know, intentionally trying to be a witch. So it's not, it's not that, it's not that. <laughs> it's definitely not like, oh, let me give you this glamour magic spell. No, that's not what the video is. <laughs> That's not what it is. <laughs> but I'll say this, like everybody uses glamour magic. Even even um, politicians use glamour magic. Corporations use glamour magic. And that's all I'm going to say. Like they're not calling themselves witches, but everybody uses glamour. So. Bonnie Bella XOXO says, do you still write and make music? Absolutely. Absolutely. Almost every day. Samantha says, Chrissy, you may be a born witch. Maybe. I've been told that I'm I'm witchy. <laughs> Razme says the accidental witch. <laughs> That's funny. China Jones says music content. What kind of mu music content would you would you want me to make? Mariah says, wait, you make music. Yes, I do make music. You must be new. I've, I've played my music on here before. I used to do covers a long time ago. I've played one on here before. Sorry. 
Skittles and Jelly Bean says you should be a recording artist. Yeah, I used to want to be after I got a little taste of the industry. Absolutely not. <laughs> not interested in being an artist. know what you are talking about chrissy i defended you against one channel that was trying to categorize your channel as just col a colorism channel um you don't have to defend me when it comes to that i mean colorism was my main topic so it's okay but no i i've never only been a colorism channel that's why it's so easy for me to to dip into other things because i've always been about strategy i've always been about level up so I've, I've talked about other things before. JQ says, tell us about the industry. I don't want to do that because I don't want to incriminate people. <laughs> and I, I just want to let other people tell their own stories, honey. Okay. But I'm not artist material. Let me just put it like that. I love doing music, but I'm not artist material. So, I work with people who are artist material. Um, thoughts on Diddy? I feel like I already gave my thoughts on that. Maybe not recent thoughts, but yeah, I've talked about Diddy in the past before. Yeah, I can't remember what video that was that I talked about Diddy, but I've talked about him before. <sighs> but anyway, I have to use the restroom. I've been drinking a lot of water today. You know, I'm trying to unbig my back a little bit for the summer. So I've been like really strict on my diet and my fasting. And yeah, I've been drinking a ton of water. And so I have to go to the bathroom. But yeah, I hope y'all understand everything I said in this video. You know, I, I'm moving on. <laughs> Bitch, I'm going with the wind. I'm sorry. Okay, so get somebody else to do it. Love y'all. I will talk to you later. Bye. To see my exclusive content, become a member of this channel, join my Patreon, or visit ChrissyOnline.com. And be sure to join the mailing list for updates on future videos. The links are in the description box. Please like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.